Hi everyone, I thought we'd try something slightly different today on Tuesday 24th just to go through what kind of things you should really be doing today if you've got the time and the space and the environment to do it. So we're just going to have a little look here at the sheet. Um, so um, you've had my video. Um, news, so first of all news. Well, if you want to do news, well obviously go and have a look at uh, Newsround. Uh, when you've watched Newsround there is an activity in your activities um, down here somewhere which is to watch there we go daily activity watch news round so each day you can come back to here um, if you want to say something about news round or ask questions click add response there and we can have a chat about that um, spag this is a task that runs all week it's just gone up this morning on tuesday so you can have a go at this um, this will be near the top of the list the weekly focus which is apostrophes there's a little video to watch um, there is a little template to work through and some um, questions to have a go with and then when you've done that if you go to spag.com then um, you can do the apostrophes test which I've left to you uh, if you have not got your spag.com login yet or you've lost it let me know um, those of you who weren't in on Friday I'll be sending them to you anyway later this morning so don't panic if you've not got them yet um, we've got all week to do this um, that reminds me, spag.com, so you need to go to the Grove Road um, website, our school website here. If you scroll down, you'll see this lovely little picture of Mr. Parkhouse, the home learning area. If you were in school last week, you've got to go on this. Click on that, and at the top here, there are links to most of the things that you need. Spag.com is there. Um, if you click on that and go in, you'll find you've got a test waiting for you. Back to our plan here. Uh, maths, um, there is a video for you to watch uh, which is about division. Some of you I know did this yesterday. And then there's a list of IXL tasks for you to have a go at. Now some of you have already done those and um, will want to do the more complicated ones. Here we are, this is the task. Uh, but you might want to have a go at a couple of these. Don't do them all at once, pick them off during the week. Um, also on the daily um, the, there's a bit of daily maths for you to do because that division is across the week your daily maths is something called the maths problems of the day some of you had a go with this yesterday so thank you if you did today's maths problems of the day is uploaded it's got the date on it tuesday 24th of march and there are two slides for you to have a go at again respond here in seesaw if you can please back to our plan pe um, I've put some suggested things up on uh, Seesaw this morning, but actually you were doing a pretty good job of um, sorting that out yourselves yesterday, um, whether you were doing ballet or, or rolling around on the floor, Lucas, um, then yeah, it was really good. Just remember, obviously, the, the guidelines last night from uh, Boris Johnson said, you can leave your home to do one form of exercise each day with one member of your household. Um, so please do that safely if you do keep your distance from people um, sorry don't use it as an excuse to meet up with your friends at the park I'm afraid you can't do that anymore um, or Boris will be annoyed let's go back to and actually in all seriousness it's dangerous so let's just uh, keep safe uh, writing daily journal a few of you did this it's best done at the end of the day um, use the the paper book that you took home or had delivered and uh, write in there what you've been doing. There were some nice ones of those on Seesaw last night. Reading skills, thank you if you've already done that. That is running for Monday and Tuesday, so if you didn't do it yesterday, you can do it today. And it's this one here, chapter six of Oranges in No Man's Land. Um, you even get me to read it to you, and then you've got some questions to have a go at the end. Some lovely, lovely um, responses to that yesterday. So thank you very much for that. Again, you've got today to do that one. There'll be a new one of those going up tomorrow for Wednesday. Topic, uh, that was missing yesterday, but we've now got um, a geography task, which uh, Mr. Harrison has set, and it follows on. Um, if you were in school and did the activity about where your school uniform would come from with Mrs. Edwards, it follows on from that. It's here, look, topic geography. Where does our stuff come from? And uh, Mr. Harrison set a challenge there to see what you can find safely within your house today. Um, not necessarily today actually because you've got all week to do that so it could be Friday if you wanted this is my favourite your home ideas and creative activities so hopefully you took your sheet home that had a 25 things you could do but look 
you can bake, make, draw, paint, you can do whatever you want. The list of suggestions, if you've lost it, is here on the school website. And if you scroll down, it's actually in the nursery section, but don't worry about that. It's uh, non-screen time activities from Pobble. And it's this one here. You might recognise it as it pops up on screen now. There we go. That's the one. Uh, all sorts of ideas there. Uh, you were doing all sorts of things yesterday, and I just want to show some really good practice here, because if you are doing something creative, um, it would be wonderful if you could document it step by step so that we can see um, we can see that. So I've got a nice example here from Mia, who's agreed that I can share this and show you. Um, which is here, look at this, so this is lovely, this is Mia uh, doing some baking, so you can see she's used the slides in uh, Seesaw to, to do a step-by-step -step approach, um, and this is a really nice way of doing it for yourself as well, just to record, and there we go with our finished product, and I think Mia did something similar with art yesterday, so if you are making, baking, drawing, planting in the garden, whatever you're doing, Take a few photographs from the beginning, the middle and the end and stick them together and put them up for us to have a look at. And uh, as a nice example, there's one of our first Head Teachers Awards um, appearing from Mr Parkhouse, who must have been up all night, I think, going through all of your work. Back to the plan, and that takes us to the bottom, which is all the other bits and pieces that you can be doing. Here's an important one. Your independent reading. Don't forget to do your reading, whatever book you're reading at the moment. Um, when you have finished the book, you can still do your accelerated reader quiz because we've given you the link up here to get into accelerated reader. And you should hopefully have your passwords. If you don't have any passwords, just ping me a message. Um, I've got them all so I can send them down the line to you. Um, and of course, also on that list is Rockstar Times Tables. Um, Apparently, Rockstar Times Tables had nearly half a million children on there yesterday, so if it was creaking a little bit and a little bit glitchy, then just be patient. They've upgraded their servers overnight, apparently. Uh, well done to... Oh, Mia again, actually. Well done, Mia. Look who's the highest person from our class on the leaderboard um, since Saturday, since we all went home and didn't come back. And uh, I think LT and a few others are popping up on there as well. Oh, there's Morgan. Look, at uh, 16. Well done, Morgan. Rex at 24, so um, starting to make an impression on the board. I think some of the classes are going to send up, set up rock battles today. Um, some dog, um, oh, Cameron's been on today already. Well done, Cameron. Uh, I can see Nico's had a go yesterday from home, um, so well done, Nico, for that. So that's a quick tour through the things that you can be doing. Um, don't feel pressured to do everything. Just do what you can. Um, have a go at a few things get the feedback to me I'll try my hardest to get feedback to you in a timely fashion and uh, other teachers you might have noticed are now looking at your work Mrs Pociani's in there uh, Miss Ely's in there Mr Parkhouse in there so we're all having a look at what you have been doing and just finally if you, you know, don't want to do some of those things you've run out of patience or time or energy I just want to break there's all this other stuff down here as well right at the bottom of the school website page so I know some of you have scheduled yourself some Duolingo time. You've decided to learn the language. I know some of you are working on Scratch, um, and I have um, I've put I've scanned in some more instructions, which I'll hopefully get online later today for that. Loads and loads of stuff here. Um, so there we go. Have a good Tuesday. Look forward to seeing um, all your lovely work.